I have made it to Farina's chair. Let's check out the history. No history whatsoever, all right. 50-50, let's go. First 10 pull. 20. 30. Yay, Charlotte! 40. 50. What the? This is 70. This is 80, so this is it. Furry not. Give me an autograph. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> that is not Farina. Oh my god, here we go. First temple again. 20. I'm gonna lose all of my wishes. Oh my god, I out here gonna seasick Charlotte. I don't even want that. 40. The bell. Oh my goodness, what is happening? <laughs> Dude, not even early. Alright. Come here. Added 80 again. Good grief. Hi, Charlotte. <laughs> That's a big splash art. There she is. Wow, look at that. I went from 180 or something wishes to 23. Is that my C2 gene? Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm glad it was a gene. I mean, I still really want a Tainari, and I'm apparently never going to get him. <laughs> Compared to, to other characters, this one's this one's okay. It's it's not a Chi Chi. Charlotte. Yep! That's that's a C6, alright. Wow, bro. Hello everyone! We are going to do more of Fontaine's story, Masquerade of the Guilty. I hope we get some answers. We are left on such a cliffhanger. Some time has passed since the incident in the Fortress of Meripede, and your sentence here is almost finished. Now for a little rest after breakfast. Oh, we, we never actually left? Oh, today's our big day! We're supposed to leave the Fortress of Meripede! We've got to go complete the release procedure. Gosh, now. it only took like a hundred days or something. It's been so long since we've been to the surface. Let's hurry up and. What the? Oh, man, this place is already falling apart. Uh, what's happening? I wonder what that tremor was just now. Let's go ask the Duke. Don't keep me in here any longer. <laughs> I've lost my mind already. The tremor didn't originate from the seafloor. In fact, it seems it came from the surface. If there really were a problem, there would be crowds of inmates in a panic right now. O okay I hope you won't be here as convicts the next time I see you. I we'll hope so too. Huh? It feels like it's been forever. Okay, we tell him everything. And my dream. Hmm, a massive whale. Not just a whale. I don't know what that is. It's bigger than a Do whale. Do you have any idea what that might be? Judging from your description, that cannot have occurred in any ordinary waters, but rather something like the Primordial Sea. A whale of that size and shape cannot usually be found in the waters of Tivat. Therefore, we can only assume that Child is presently immersed in Primordial presently? Sea Presently? Are you saying he's drowning? What was that tremor we felt earlier? And the source of the tremor was here on the surface near Poisson. After the shaking stopped, the water levels in the Poisson area rose at an alarming rate. Water levels rose? Oh, so that's how the water yeah. rises. What about all the people there? Fortunately, the water levels only rose for a short period of time and have already returned to normal now. However, I still have a bad feeling about the whole phenomenon. I would also like to go there as soon as possible, but I'm afraid I can't leave just yet. I'll have to ask you two to go to Poisson first. I'll meet you there to check on the situation once I finish things here. Sounds like a plan. Uh, guys? Uh, where is everyone? <sighs> I'm not young anymore. How will I survive on my own? Aww. <laughs> my Desiree! <laughs> my leg! 
How could this have happened? You're here. We heard there was a situation in Poisson. Yes. As you can see, the water level suddenly rose. The rushing water seemed a little odd, almost like the unique color of primordial seawater. Some people didn't realize the danger and thought it was just ordinary water leaking from somewhere. Everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water didn't have a chance to escape. As the water levels rose, they suddenly disappeared. The Spina di Rosula initiated rescue operations as quickly as possible, but there have been a lot of casualties. The water that flooded the area contained primordial seawater. No one knows if this could happen again. All we can do for now is try our best to help evacuate the residents. Would you two accompany me to my father's grave for a moment? Huh? Right now? I understand. Thank you. <laughs> Navia, what's wrong? Sorry. I... I just... Malus and Silver... They won't ever come back here again. What should I do, Papa? Everyone agreed on the rescue plan, but still... I was the one who initiated it. They were helping evacuate the residents, but they couldn't leave in time. And... And they were caught in the seawater. I just can't... Everything looks so clean after it rains. Even the gravestones. Yet the cemetery is the home of those who have passed, is it not? Buying yourself a plot in advance, are you? <laughs> no need yet. But when I do, I hope you'll let me be buried beside Master Callus, Demoiselle. Hey, stop joking around. I'm quite serious. That way, it will save us both the trip to see each other whenever you visit your father's grave. <laughs> oh, come on! That makes sense. In that case, could I be buried on his other side? After all, besides you, Demoiselle, the two of us could certainly be considered Master's closest companions, no? Personally, I believe we fill those shoes just fine. <laughs> Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? I promise to let them rest in peace here. <sighs> By the way, you can have a look at this. It's a list of victims from the incident that took place here. Obana. That's a lot of names. So, everyone else is safe. It's okay. I, I know what you're thinking. And you're right. We lost Malus and Silver. But we were able to save more than we anticipated. Malus and Silver were not the price for saving anyone. They're heroes. You're right. What you said just now was... Pretty amazing, actually. I'll remember your words. Oh, uh, really? Seems you've become more eloquent what the the hell? since we last met. Bro, this the is name? not the time. What are you doing? Unless you're here to pay respects. Uh, is everything going well on your side? Huh? Yes, my people are carrying out the mission according to your request. Wait, what? Thanks to the knave, Spina di Rosula received generous support from the Fatui which allowed us to complete the rescue and evacuation work so quickly. Mutual aid is essential to fostering positive developments. We were already in the area, in any case, so it was nothing. As I've told this traveler before, I know of the prophecy, and I intend to prevent the impending disaster. Lending your organization a hand was a natural first step in accomplishing that. Without your help, there would have been many more casualties. I won't forget your kindness. Furthermore, I sincerely regret what happened to Malus and Silver. I only wish that my people could have arrived a little earlier to prevent this from happening. Don't say that. By the way, Traveler, Paimon, one more thing. Traveler, I'm sure you remember that I said we could work together when we had the chance. You and I both know that there may be issues with the Primordial Sea. Previously, it was the Fortress of Meripede Sluice Gate, and this time it was the water levels in Poisson. 
These are both signals. So the time for jolly cooperation has come. Indeed. Allow me to share the latest intel I've received from the House of the Hearth's intelligence network with you. Oh, okay. During some recent investigations, a child claimed to have discovered some ruins near Poisson. The ruins date back to ancient times and seem to be worth investigating in many ways. Okay. Judging by the dating of the ruins, they may be related to the prophecy and the coming crisis. The situation is becoming more urgent, so any pertinent information will prove extremely precious. My people initially came to prepare for ruin exploration. Unexpectedly, this disaster struck. And at present, we're all busy prioritizing the rescue effort. So that's why the Fatui were already in Poisson. I wanted to take the children along, but unfortunately, Linny, Lynette, and Fremenay have all been dispatched to higher ground to assist affected residents. Linny told me that outside of the house, the person they trust most is you. Which is why I want to give you this task. Got it! So all we gotta do is go to some ruins, right? Pfft, we can handle that. Excuse me, but may I tag along? You wish to join, Miss Navia? But... Are you sure you're up to exploring some ruins? Well, I'm sad, yes. But I can't just go back and plop myself into a chair by the roadside and do nothing. There's no point in being depressed while we still have a disaster on our hands. Besides, I'm also doing this for myself. I need something... a distraction... to keep my mind off Malus and Silver. All right. The ruins are to the south of Poisson. Interesting ancient domain. What it what? This place has also been contaminated by primordial seawater. Yeah. And a lot of it too. You should go back to safety, Navia. Right. That complicates things. Maybe the only way left is forward. But you can't In go that forward. Case, mm. The water levels here are unstable, and there's a chance the water will rise. So, staying here wouldn't be safe either. I'll go together with you. Oh no, it's a dead end! Hmm. Let's try climbing over from the side! It's obby time. The floor is lava, except only for Navia. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Wait, that's pretty. Oh, why did the screen get like this? What's happening? What's gonna happen? Wait, there's something wrong with it. Ah! <laughs> Run! Demoiselle? Huh? Demoiselle, what are you doing here by yourself? Would you be- Maybe she just wants some time to herself, Malus. Was I sleeping? Yes, it would appear so. We still have important things to attend to today. Huh? Uh, we do? Miss Navia, here you are! I've been looking for you. Please, come to the Opera House. Your trial is about to begin. Trial? My trial? Karina? Desiree? Shoeville? Mm. Julian, Essen. Those are, those are there a bunch so of people, people that didn't make it. And why do I have no recollection of this case? And as for the judge, uh, huh? Where's Monsieur Nervillette? Could someone please tell me where Monsieur Nervillette is, and why I'm standing trial? My dear Miss Navia. Have you not yet realized what you've done? Who the hell are you? In that case, allow me to explain. As all here know, you are Master Callus's successor, the head of the Spina di Rasula, someone held in high regard by every soul in Poisson. After you took soul over the Spina, you treated all the of us just is like the late Master Callus had. If anyone in need reached out to you for help, you responded. Not only you, but your butler, your subordinates, 
Nearly everyone in the Spina di Rasula fought for the well-being of those in Poisson. <laughs> Wait a moment. Aren't you just proving that I'm a good person? Yes, correct. Absolutely right. And that is why you stand accused. You have helped so many people get through so many difficulties. You are one with us. We are inseparable. We couldn't possibly do without you. <laughs> Therefore, this fair and honorable court shall declare you guilty, and you shall stay here. You will be together with us forever. How wonderful, Miss Navia! <laughs> They're all excited because she's joined I know all them. these people. I seem to remember now. Yes, I get it. This trial is... Wait just a moment. This isn't right! Oh? Uh, Malus? What was that, Mr. Malus? Our conclusion is very clear and unanimous. Let the court judge her now. She's guilty! Stay here, Navia! You're one of us! Demoiselle, don't admit guilt. This trial means to keep you here forever. I wish to exercise my right to defend Our Lady. Mr. Swanfield, you only know of Navia's goodness, but nothing of her utterly independent mind. Her actions cannot serve as proof that she identifies herself as part of any group. She merely acted as an individual, extending her hand to help others. Even if Miss Navia only voluntarily rendered her assistance, that doesn't change the fact that her beautiful soul must return to everyone. Water accepts all, blends with all. It will surely accept her kindness. You are merely jealous that Demoiselle still has a chance to exist as an individual. Ooh. Have you forgotten how much you all once longed to become individuals? To become independent? My head... It hurts. Demoiselle. I don't want to admit it, but... But they're all dead. Do not resist. This judgment is fair and just. Navia belongs to us. After all that happened, she should not be left alone in Poisson. Uh, your true forms are being what are you revealed. Saying? She says we're jealous. Jealous? <laughs> How could she possibly be an independent individual? What's with these people? Who's jealous of her? She belongs to us, Miss Navia. Being dissolved is terrifying. She... I thought this was just going to be an instant Silence. thing. Silence. Uh the accusations you just presented are nonsense and cannot constitute a proper trial. The court will adjourn for the rest of the day. In this, I shall hear no objections from any unauthorized party. Please leave with me, Miss Navia, while there is still time. But... Go on now, Demoiselle. Yes. Goodbye, Demoiselle. Farewell. Uh, no, wait! Just a second! Hey, uh, Navia? <laughs> You're awake. Good. Yeah, I knew he would be here. <sighs> you were just about to be dissolved within, but I... Hmm. <laughs> but I can't tell you because I'm a dragon. What is it? I think I saw two Oceanids protecting you. It was only for a moment, perhaps even a fraction of a second, but they gave me the chance to retrieve you. Were it not for their intervention, I would not have been able to rescue you before your consciousness dissipated. Wait, did you say Oceanids? You mean like what happened with Vache? So people that are dissolved became ocean. Why are we acting like this is about? I, Perhaps I those thought we two Oceanids were the people you saw in your dream. <sighs> Looks like we've reached the end. This is the place. There should not be any other hidden spaces in the vicinity. The path sure had some twists and turns, but it turns out that this place isn't actually that big. There seems to be something on the wall. Stone slates? It seems like they were put here as an offering. Uh, perhaps we should just leave oh, them just be look for... at them. The slate that should be in the first empty spot is missing. And the surrounding walls also show signs of damage. There's something written below. Let Paimon see. Uh, reason dictates that this nation be destroyed. I shall record the history of its future here in its past. Uh... 
Wait, hey, what? what? It feels like someone left these slates and these words. That sounds like some purpose. time traveling stuff. But what? Does he mean that Fontaine should be destroyed? That would fit the circumstances dictated by the prophecy, yes. Indeed, the slate's contents correspond to it. Was that meant to be Take taken literally? Slate, Did example. the person who write this come from the future to record There's a what happens? Here. She seems so dedicated. And there's a whole bunch of other people behind her doing the same. And is that Lady Farina in the third image? Did the Hydro Archon fall into the water? And is that a ring of people around her? The fourth image. I know this one. Yeah, this we all exactly know that one. exactly matches the content of the prophecy. The people will all be dissolved into the waters. And only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping yeah. on her throne. Yeah, they seem to match. <laughs> More information should be hidden in these slates, but I fear I cannot easily uncover it. Most likely due to us missing the first slate. Don't blame yourself, Monsieur. Okay, we gotta go Can find it. Shouldn't the fourth, the waters drowning Fontaine, come before the third? Where the Hydro Archon herself falls into the water? And yet the order is reversed here. The second image is also quite concerning. What sin are the people in the images confessing to? Yeah, it's just some like island in the sky. Is that supposed to be Celestia? What is that? If we go by timing, Lady Farina only emerges in the third image. That means that the person in the second image might be the previous Hydro Archon. Egeria, then. I had never met her, but her appearance here does match the records. The previous Archon kneeling before the floating island in the skies, as if confessing a sin. Did she herself commit that sin? Thanks for your hard work today. Rest well, everyone. Traveler, I will go talk to Farina tomorrow morning to ask about the stone slates. Okay. I'm sure that you're concerned about this matter as well. If you have time, drop by my office. Oh, that voice. What the hell? Is that who I think it is? Bro. Huh? Bro. How, why are you here? It's you two. What are you doing in Fontaine? What are you doing in Fontaine? Mona? Uh, wait, you're not are you Mona? Well, I have some business to attend to here, so I booked a hotel in the city. I was just out for a stroll when I bumped into you. Why did you think I was from Fontaine, though? Is that because Magistus doesn't sound much like a Mondstadter surname? Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Well, I used to have my own surname, which was, well, some other thing. Either way, the old hag told me when she took me as her disciple that the first step to being a great astrologist's pupil was to change that name. There was nothing was for it, that really. Bad? Was she it really bad? is amazing at astrology, so I changed my name to what it is now according to her wishes. Okay, may I ask what your master's name is? Astromancer Barbaloth Trismegistus. Whoa. Whoa, that's a long one. Does it also mean great or something? My name means Mona the Great Astrologist. As for the old hag, hers is, in plain speech, the thrice as great scholar of the stars. Just take it as a title specific to astrologists. Thrice as great? That's so... petty. <laughs> I know, right? Just a while back, the steam bird invited me to take part in a panel and speak about the circulation of the prophecy as an astrologist. I need to ascertain the accuracy of the prophecy. Could you help me get in touch with your master? All right. No oh, way. Thanks, Mona. You're here. Finally. Uh, F is something Finally? Wrong? Monsieur Durvelet and Lady Farina, they, they seem to have gotten into a dispute. Oh, boy. Like I said, I've already explained everything. Have you? And yet the problem has not been properly solved. There is little space for excuses between us. It is not my intention to offend you, but please, tell me where you stand. You are the Hydro Archon Fossilor, are you not? Look at this. This is a list of the victims from the recent Poisson incident. I you mean... they're all... We did not arrive in time to avert this disaster. And I will not have it happen again. I will say this once more. You must tell me everything you know. Do you really have no information regarding the previous Archon? 
My deciphering of the slates indicates that the Hydro Archon Egeria once had to confess to, or apologize for, a certain sin. If anyone would know about it, it should be you. All gods don't have the same secrets, you know. She was herself and I'm me. Is it really so strange that I know nothing? Uh, I understand strange. your concerns, but I'm sorry. I just don't have anything to tell you. We need to make her understand how dire this situation actually is. Well, that's uh, hard to do because he was already doing that. Everyone in her inner circle has noticed that she is hiding some secret. The issue is her attitude. I fear that she will not reveal anything unless absolutely forced to. We may have to create a situation in which she will have no choice but to speak. Oh? Normally, people will only reveal the truth when standing trial. Perhaps we must have the Hydro Archon experience just such a scenario. <laughs> like, Farina's seen so many trials, and she's really good at dodging questions. How do we make sure that she won't just slip away at the first chance she gets? We will need to consider this thoroughly, join forces with various parties, and then do what we can. <sighs> it's been a tough few days, hasn't it? So much has been happening. Those meetings sure did make me hungry. Don't be frightened. I'm just joining you two for tea. I merely refrained huh? from saying anything till now. Who? You're the voice we heard from the sky in Sumeru! Hmm. <laughs> the voice from the sky, hmm? I fear that description is wrong. Though, not completely wrong. <sighs> You're feeling lost now. Just as you were feeling previously. I sensed that confusion and thus came to you. Guiding people is an irresistible hobby of mine, after all. Who are you? And what do you want with us? Hmm. Consider me a passerby. Just accepting a commission from my friend's disciple on a whim. Okay, it's... it's... It's not Alice, it's... But it is one of... The, like, witches or... Whatever they're called from the Exon Circle. Allow me to ask you, will Fontaine's prophecy come true? Yes, what has been prophesized will be fulfilled. You may view such things as the history of the future. Then is there any way we can stop it? I believe you have witnessed a failed attempt with your own eyes. Can everything in Tavat so easily be changed? There it is again, fate. Can there really be no exceptions? Ah, so you've caught on. Just as prophecies are usually only the future as seen from the perspectives of the gods, could things be happening in hidden corners where the god's gaze does not fall? Are the things that you shall see different from the fate that the gods perceive? What? What is she talking about? It all sounds really impressive and important and stuff, but it also sounds kind of scary. I don't know, I'm also confused. I believe that you understand, right? Some things are insignificant, but others you must reach out to change. Reach Ultimately, out to change. fate shall serve as your only guide, no matter what will happen in Tavat's future. All you need to do is to play your part. What the heck is mm. my part? This was good tea, by the way. Thank you for your hospitality. Well, that'll be all for today. Can you come back tomorrow nice. or something? It's gone. Good clue. I don't I don't know what to do about that. When you wake up, someone seems to be outside. Is it well, Nadia? Oh, it's I Mona. see I've walked in on some lively banter. Mona! About what we had discussed before. I did try, but I'm afraid I couldn't reach the old hag. I'll try again tonight, but I will uh, get your hopes oh. up. You're, you're not the one who summoned Mage and Actually, someone already came over. Huh? Yes, she was quite cryptic, but I suspect she means that there is still a way to turn things around. Perhaps it is something that you cannot know right now. <sighs> Feels like you'll grow mold if you stay here long enough. <laughs> okay. But it's still better than the Fortress of Meripede, that's for sure. Ah, oh, so the two of you are still here. Wonderful. Monsieur Nervillat sent me to look for you two before. Actually, I'm here to pass along a message from him. Yes, inside the Opera House. 
The Mari Chaussee Phantom has declared the incident a small-scale riot. A riot? Well, that said, what are we I talking don't about? personally think it was that serious. Lady Farina was watching a performance at the Opera House, and while she was resting during an intermission, some other audience members suddenly started harassing her. Oh. Loudly accusing her of doing nothing about the prophecy crisis. Oh. And before she could respond, others started is to this... join in. Did we do this as a the trap, or is it just like a coincidence? And protests against the Hydro Archon started to break out. So people have started to put the blame on Farina. That said, I don't think there's much to worry about. She is a god after all. Good. You all say don't that, worry. but oh, I don't believe that... it anymore. Let's try to find her as soon as possible. Knowing Farina and how much she cares about her appearance and um, publicity and, and popularity, that would, that would get her attention. That's Farina, right over there. She really is here all on her own. Shut up. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Should I just give up? This is all meaningless. What was meant to happen did happen after all. Everyone's dead. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <sighs> give up, Farina. There's no point in holding out. <laughs> I'm sorry, but what can I even do? Other than to repeat meaningless apologies over and over. Farina. Who, who's that? Don't worry, Farina. It's just us. <laughs> so it is you, blonde traveler from another land. Why, I almost thought you were summoned from that mob of my ignorant subjects. Come to kneel and beg for my forgiveness. Farina. You were crying just now, weren't you? Uh, what do you mean, tear stains? Uh, oh, <laughs> I remember. The show at the Opera House earlier this morning was so moving. I'm still trying to process it. <laughs> Who did that uncivilized rabble think they were? Disturbing my enjoyment of the arts. They even dare to tout their Archon. I must teach them a lesson. Hey, there she is! The Hydro Archon's over there! Oh, man. Quick, after her! <laughs> there are just some rabid fans who want to cut the line because they haven't been able to meet me in person, aren't they? Really? Mm, that's against the rules. I can't let them get their way. Why is this chase so awkward? The most awkward chase scene I've ever seen. This should be the place, right? Hey, Farina! There's a good hiding spot over here! Quick, come to Paimon before the rest of them catch up to you! Uh, wh what? What is this place? Hurry, they're almost here! Fine, fine, I suppose haste is warranted. So can we talk? <sighs> I'm so tired. Uh, no, I mean, I nearly gave in to the sheer enthusiasm they displayed. <laughs> <laughs> um, this place is not what I'd call soundproof. Uh, you're right. Uh, uh, oh, uh, no, another uh, one of those? Uh, what's happening? Uh, the ground's shaking. Is it an earthquake? Another disaster just struck, I suspect. Yeah, a quake of this kind preceded the flooding in Poisson, didn't it? It's happening again. Well, there's no need to worry too much about that. Nevelette's made some emergency plans, so the evacuation should go a lot smoother this time. Okay, but are we safe? Yeah, I hope you're right. But the people of Poisson... You begin to talk amongst yourselves as Farina slowly calms down. It's true. I've been investigating the prophecy for hundreds of years. I once had informants all over to Vat, searching for clues and feeding information back to me. I've tried all kinds of ways, too, to hold back the sea. Anything to keep the coastline from advancing. But all my efforts proved to be futile in the end. Really, the truth has been clear to me for a very long time. We cannot make an enemy of the Divine. No matter what we do, the will of the Heavenly Principles will have its way. 
and the prophecy shall be fulfilled. But even then, you still haven't given up, right? <laughs> Give up. <sighs> I do love the sound of that phrase. Indeed, I've thought about giving up so many times. Especially after we almost lost Poisson. Fate is really unreasonable, isn't it? It has no heart and obeys no rules. The prophecy has only just started to come true, and so many people have already lost their lives. But just now, it all became clear to me. I still don't have the right to come to terms with fate on behalf of everyone else. As long as the final moment hasn't come, it's still not too late. Well, that's enough for now. I got the impulse to play the stricken maiden, but honestly, considering my rank and station, that wasn't a good fit at all. <laughs> Don't take any of what I just said seriously. How could I possibly let Fontaine fall to the whims of trivial prophecy? You're not very good at this, are you? Come on! Paimon could have sworn you were actually being honest just now. Farina. You might not have to shoulder this burden alone. Although I don't know what you might be keeping from everyone, your people are more than willing to share your burden with you. Share my burden? <sighs> That's impossible. It was fated impossible. right from the start that this would be my duty alone. But even if your burden doesn't need to be shared, you can still choose to confide in someone. Just share it with me. I'm what you call a witness. A witness? <sighs> yes, I've heard that you came to Tevat from beyond the stars, yes. In other words, you never belonged here. And if Tevat is, in its entirety, a show on a stage, then you're just a spectator, aren't you? I guess you could <sighs> say that. If that's the case... I... I didn't that's a whole nother level of trickery that I wasn't expecting. Now, without further ado, we may proceed to the trial of our god. This court isn't full <sighs> enough. <laughs> so, this is what it is. Yes, you deserve praise for the effort you took to raise the dramatic stakes. Do not forget, however, that I am Fosalor, the god of justice. The embodiment of justice itself! Does it not strike you as even the least bit absurd to bring the very concept of justice to trial? May I interpret these words as your refusal to stand trial? In that case, you will have the opportunity to defend your honor through a duel. Ooh! You... you would draw your blade against a god? We're being serious here. Ahem. <clears throat> I see. It seems like you have made up your mind. She just surrendered! I can believe that. <laughs> Did I just see an Archon surrender to a... a human? Wow. How utterly humiliating. Lady Farina, what is the meaning of this? Uh, it would seem that there has been a misunderstanding. To be clear, the raising of both hands is not always an indication of surrender. Looking for excuses again, huh? I raised my hands just now to indicate my acceptance of the trial. No duel shall be necessary. I will admit that I've been running away for a long time. I'm sorry, everyone. I was unable to protect the people of Poisson. It is my duty to stand trial for my crimes. You are not the only ones to be disappointed in me. 
I too am exceedingly disappointed in myself. <sighs> but now, it is time for the Hydro Archon to show you her courage and resolve. I, Farina, will use this trial to show the world the true meaning of justice. This time, I will protect you. The court asks the prosecutor to please take the stand. Oh, thank you, your honor. Is that so? Very well. We were so close to getting her to tell us the truth, and it still turned out like this in the end. It's okay, though. As long as we can defeat Farina in court, we still have a chance to figure everything out. Also, please allow me to ask, as a final question before the trial begins, just how much work did you do to force me onto this stage? Quite a bit. Well, we did do a lot of prep after the meeting that day. I can go over the tasks assigned to the Spina di Rosula, since they were rather straightforward and easy. Navia, the president of the Spina di Rosula. Most of the people who participated in the disturbance this morning were my subordinates. They changed into plain clothes and came to the opera house as regular audience members. With a perfect opportunity, I figured to it might have been a trick. Against you. And their goal was to force you to step into the giant magic box so you may personally participate in the greatest magic performance in all of Fontanian history. That's right. That house was a magic box rather than someone's residence. As the super ultimate version of the setup that I used when I first performed at the Opera Epicles, the volume of the box was increased by a whole order of magnitude, and the distance it traversed was the entire gap between Poisson and Arrhenius. Its cargo, of course, How on earth did was that pull an Archon off? instead of a human. My thanks, Farina. Without your help, we could never have pulled off such an extraordinary performance. Well, it was pretty cool. Uh... You're welcome. Of course, this performance was only made possible with father's support. The House of the Hearth spent a massive amount of labor in Mora to pull this off. That makes sense. We had to select a location, construct the giant magic box, dig a tunnel, and open up a path through the water. It was a lot of work for all of us. So, in other words, the earthquake that we felt within the giant magic box was just a normal tremor from yeah, the transportation Yeah, that was probably right when it was starting house? to move. That's right. It wasn't a sign of another disaster to come. We deceived you back there. <laughs> then, I can guess Nervilette and Cloran's parts. To intimidate you. You gathered a crowd, prepared a stage, and made sure that the champion duelist would be immediately ready for a fight. Also, that as soon as I appeared on the stage, the trial may commence without a hitch. Yes, that is correct. Well, well you are Cloran, here. And I must commend you for your courage. Thank you. As for you, traveler, I suppose your role was to keep me distracted with conversation once you found me in Poisson. Okay, but it was You'd important sure conversation. I didn't notice anything amiss before revealing yourself as my prosecutor once we'd arrived onto the stage. No. Oh? My mission was to give you one last chance. We hoped you'd share your secret with us before the magic box arrived onto the stage. <laughs> Is that so? Then I suppose I must have missed my final chance. <laughs> she was so close. What's done is done. The stage is already set, so there's no reason to disappoint the audience. Let's see this trial through to the very end. Alright, uh, this episode has gone on long enough, so I'm going to end it here. I know, I know, it's a cliffhanger, I know. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye!